At the beginning of the movie, a voice narrates that many people think the time of dragons is over, but in reality, it has only just begun. Every 500 years, a woman with a mystical spirit power is born. She has the ability to turn a serpent into the mightiest dragon of all. The nature of the serpent will define the fate of the world, as a good serpent will use its power to protect the universe, but an evil one will use it to destroy the world. The voice concludes by saying that now is the time for the spirit to be awakened. The scene cuts to an accident site in Los Angeles, a massive dent has been formed on the ground, and the cause is unknown. A man being escorted out yells that a beast has risen. Several police officers investigate the place, trying to collect evidence. A reporter named Ethan Kendrick arrives at the site, and shoots a video of a scale-like pattern on the ground. Ethan is now back in his office, but cannot stop looking at the scale. It reminds him of a story his mentor Jack, told him 15 years ago when he was just a kid. Ethan's father once took Ethan to an antique shop that belonged to a man named Jack. There he had seen the same scale and a strange light coming from inside a box. Smoke from inside the box washes over Ethan, and Jack realizes what is happening. He fakes a heart attack, and sends Ethan's father away to get medicines to talk to Ethan alone. Jack then tells Ethan about the legend of Amugi. Amugi, which translates to dragon in English, are mystical creatures who lived in heaven with their followers. Every 500 years, one Imugi is rewarded for their good deeds, with a chance to become a celestial dragon, a dragon more powerful than all others. But for that, the Imugi will have to receive the gift of Yu Yi Ju from the heavens. 500 years ago, a similar opportunity was provided to the serpents, but among them was an evil Imugi named Baraki, who wanted to possess Yu Yi Ju for himself, so he could spread his evil to the world. Heaven didn't want to give Baraki such powers, so they sent Yu Yi Ju to the earth. Back in 1057, Yu Yi Ju landed in a small village in Korea. Heaven then sent its best warriors, Bokum and his student Haram, to protect the Yu Yi Ju from Baraki. However, the evil Baraki wouldn't back down until he got Yu Yi Ju. A girl named Naren was born with a tattoo on her shoulder which meant that she was chosen to withhold Yu Yi Ju. When Naren turned 20, the Yu Yi Ju inside her would be completely formed. From an early age, the protector of Yu Yi Ju, Bokum, trained Haram to protect Naren and taught him everything he needed to know about Amugi. He gave Haram a medallion that would protect him as Naren's savior. Eventually, Haram and Naren fell in love with each other. The day she turned 20, their village was attacked by an army sent by Baraki to abduct Naren. They destroyed the whole village and killed whoever got in their way. The soldiers then checked every girl's shoulder to look for the mark and found Naren. They abducted her, but Haram came to her rescue and managed to take her away to a waterfall. Bokum ran to the waterfall to find Haram's medallion on the ground. Naren and Haram had run away together. Enraged and desperate to get the Yu Yi Ju, the evil Baraki pursued them himself. The two reached a cliff and were about to get caught. They jumped off the cliff, committing suicide, leaving Baraki to wait for another 500 years for Yu Yi Ju to be born. After telling the story, Jack shows Ethan a mark on his arm, claiming that he is Bokum's reincarnation and Ethan is Haram's reincarnation. He then hands Ethan the same medallion and tells him to always keep it near. The girl with Yu Yi Ju has already been sent to the earth and is named Sarah. They have to find and save her from Baraki in this life as well. Back in the present, Ethan is still in his office. He asks his colleague named Bruce to look for a girl named Sarah, who was born with a dragon tattoo on her shoulder. Bruce laughs saying that there are thousands of Sarah in LA. The scene cuts to Sarah exercising in a gym. She and her friend watch the news and see Ethan reporting about the scale that was found that morning. The news unsettles Sarah, so she quickly rushes out of the gym. Meanwhile, Agent Frank Pinsky, who is investigating the finding of the scale, goes to meet a scientist studying it. They have found out that the scale is harder than diamond, and seems to be of an ancient reptile. No one has ever seen such a substance before, so they do not have much idea about its origin. Sarah has an unsettling feeling and feels like her life's in danger. Her friend Brandy assumes the news from earlier just got into Sarah's head and invites her to go out. At night, three thugs harass Sarah on the streets. Jack arrives there and knocks the thugs out in mere seconds before leaving. Somewhere else in a zoo, a zookeeper comes across the evil Imugi Baraki, throwing an elephant in the air. A strange man in black clothing watches from afar. The scared zookeeper is left speechless. Sarah is now at the police station, explaining how the thugs were knocked out. A reporter clicks her picture to cover the story. The reporter happens to be one of Ethan's colleagues. Ethan gets a look at the picture of Sarah 
and sees the tattoo on her shoulders. He has finally found the girl who bears the Yu Yi Ju. At night, Sarah dreams of someone trying to kill her. When she wakes up, she is troubled by a pain in her chest, so she calls 911. Paramedics escort her to a hospital. Her friend Brandy and her boyfriend go to Sarah's home to pack her clothes and bring them to the hospital. But they come across the giant serpent, Baraki. He kills Brandy in one go and continues searching for Sarah. The man from earlier, who happens to be the general of Baraki's soldiers, is there too. The following day, Ethan and Bruce go to Sarah's house, which is being investigated for Brandy's murder. They find out about her being in a hospital and go to meet her. Ethan finally meets Sarah and tells her he is there to help. But as they talk, Baraki circles the hospital looking for Sarah. Ethan and Bruce manage to drive her away from the hospital, but are stopped by the general. However, a car driven by Jack, who is disguised as a lady, saves them. The FBI is investigating Baraki's attack at the hospital and finds out that the serpent is looking for Sarah. Agent Frank is ordered by his boss to kill the girl once he finds her because it is the only way to stop Baraki. Meanwhile, the general summons the army of Baraki, called the Aatrox Army. It consists of historic creatures like flying dragons and dollars. Jack drops Ethan and Sarah to a beach, from where they go to Ethan's psychologist friend's house. The doctor hypnotizes Sarah and asks her about her past life. Sarah remembers her life as Naren and how she loved Haram. Suddenly a blue light shine from within her, and she starts to float midair. Ethan calms her down but Baraki finds them there as well. They get into a car and drive away, while the massive serpent follows them. The two manage to get away from it and call Bruce. They meet him at a restaurant where Bruce prepares a helicopter for them so they can fly away somewhere safe. Jack appears in front of Ethan and asks him to take the girl to the waterfall where a good serpent can get hold of the Yu Yi Ju. But that would still mean that Sarah would die, so Ethan denies it. Suddenly, Baraki approaches the restaurant, making Ethan and Sarah run for their lives. It follows them around the city, destroying everything that comes in its way. The duo manages to get on the roof of a skyscraper, where they board a helicopter. But before they can take off, the massive serpent slithers up the building and catches the helicopter in its mouth. Ethan and Sarah jump back on the roof as the helicopter goes flying on the ground and explodes. The officials have concluded the situation as an emergency and sent several army choppers to fight Baraki. As the choppers fire at the creature, Ethan and Sarah run away. The army choppers somehow get the beast off the building, but are then attacked by the Aatrox army. A fleet of dragons attacks the soldiers, and soon overpowers them. Massive army tanks fight the crowd of dawdlers, but are no match to the creatures. Agent Frank and his associate Campbell, finally find Sarah and Ethan, and take them to a safe building. However when they reach there, Frank points his gun at Sarah. He has been ordered to kill her to stop the chaos. Campbell shoots Frank dead before he can kill Sarah. He believes that only Sarah can stop the Baraki from coming back every 500 years. The duo then gets in a car and drives away from the city, in hopes of escaping. But the Aatrox army finds them. They are eventually abducted and brought to Baraki's hiding. Ethan is tied to a pole, while Sarah is laid for Baraki to consume the Yu Yi Ju in her. They are surrounded by the Aatrox army, and have no way to escape now. The general summons Baraki, who approaches Sarah to get the Yu Yi Ju. But suddenly, a light flashes upon Ethan's medallion. The medallion's power is released, which lets out a strong force killing the whole Aatrox army and burning them to dust. But the general and Baraki are left unharmed. The general strikes at Ethan, and an electric force coming out of the medallion kills him too. Now an angered Baraki attacks the two, but is restrained by a good Imugi sent from heaven. The two serpents get into an intense battle, slithering around one another. They match in strength and abilities, but Baraki manages to knock out the good Imugi and approaches Sarah again. Seeing someone as powerful as the good Imugi being defeated, Sarah has no hope left. She finally accepts her fate and approaches Baraki. A bright light shines from her tattoo and creates a magical floating sphere. The sphere is the Yu Yi Ju. Before Baraki can consume the sphere, Sarah, who can control it, throws it towards the good Amugi. The good Amugi consumes it and turns into the mighty dragon that Baraki wished to be. Sarah falls unconscious to the ground. After transforming into the dragon, the good Imugi is a thousand times more powerful than Baraki. It strikes at Baraki and throws it to the ground easily. The dragon then tries to go back to heaven, but Baraki latches onto its tail. The dragon attacks it with fire and finally kills the beast. It then approaches Ethan holding Sarah and throws out Yu Yi Ju from its mouth. Sarah's body turns into a magical smoke 
and forms the shape of her eternal self. She tells Ethan that they will meet again someday, and gets sucked into Yu Yi Ju. The mighty dragon consumes the Yu Yi Ju and flies away to heaven. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.